All right, Gary, what are we playing this week? Cole, there's no fucking time. We got lost on the Keebler factory tour, and they're after us. Oh, no! Did we learn the trade secrets? I, I think we did. I think that we found out how many chips in a Chips Ahoy. Uh, we're goddamn fucked. Here, try this door. Everything uh, is ending. Oh, no. Uh, Gary, the, uh, oh, it's stuck. Uh, oh, boy. Oh, my, oh, my hands are oh, too, my palms are too slippery. I can't uh, get it. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me cast the spell real quick and turn us temporarily invisible. Okay. Wow. We have to be very Why does my quiet. skin feel sour? Oh, uh, this is, this I, sucks. I hate it. I, we should yeah. never have gone on this tour. God. Listen, the uh, we're being stalked right now. We don't have time to do everything except for Aang. There are, this place has a secret monastery library in the back. Uh, what? And, and we're being, we're being chased by, by these chipmunks. Are trying to kill us. I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to be quiet here. So, like, uh, does yeah. does their armor class raise every few levels? Or yeah, I I, I think that they do, and they can't wear armor uh, uh, that's not made of chocolate. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, do we want to sabotage? I mean, oh my god, this is... there's a Keebler half elf. <laughs> Why is the only the bottom half an elf? <laughs> that's so fucking weird. That's gross. Oh shit! I'm on our cover. God damn oh, no. it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, uh, they're they're taking us to one of the contraptions. No. Oh no, Gary, we're about to be chipwrecked. And now we're cookies. <laughs> Update your mental image of us now. Yeah, we're cookies. We're talking as cookies. Mm. Um, my name is Gary Butterfield. My name is Cole Ross. Welcome to Outer Suffering. We don't know what we're doing, but neither do you. So give us a break. <laughs> uh, that's a quick whiplash ass <laughs> line. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty good. There's yeah. a, some of these are too long to read in this Google forum. Oh, so yeah. I, I've been, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've been kind of skipping uh, around. <laughs> you can uh, you can select and then change the wrapping so it'll oh, yeah. uh yeah, yeah so yeah. it'll go so it'll reveal everything don't worry yeah. um, i just haven't done it yet i keep forgetting okay. this thing exists until yeah. i need it right so. same uh yeah no this is uh this week we're talking about alvin and the chipmunks chipwrecked the yep. uh the the, the the ds game uh this is a gary pick yeah this is what i like to call the educational series <laughs> uh that i do i do a couple of these where i just i want to learn about something and i figure abject suffering would be a great way to do it yeah and yeah. uh i just i i was thinking about alvin and the chick chipmunks you know uh, my dad always said alvin alvin and the chipmunks yeah the, chi you know? well, the, the chipmunks are very different yeah very that's different, true uh, i was thinking about them and i was like uh does dave own them you know does, does <sighs> are they family like are they pets and then I was like, oh, there's sure, sure there's a video game based on this. And then I was like, chipwrecked. They've become chipwrecked. I wonder how that happened. So I just <laughs> wanted to find out. And I figured this game would be a good way to find out. And I was wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I wanted I wanted something about the ontology of these little high voice creatures. Yeah. Uh, and uh, instead, what we got was the weirdest just a very... fucking Guitar Hero that's ever existed. Yeah. What What about Guitar Hero? But occasionally, you have to draw Nazi runes. <laughs> you You draw a lot of Nazi runes. It is <laughs> imagine uh, like Parappa the Rappa, except instead of pressing a button, you're drawing on the DS <laughs> pad. Yes, uh, and some of them are Nazi runes. Some yeah. of them are very Deus Vault uh, <laughs> <laughs> fucking stuff <laughs> that you're doing here <laughs> to sing along to like real songs. Yes, this is like a licensed music, like like, like dance along kind of thing. So the idea, yes. like you're you're having the kids dance the the, the kids. God, just, I'm, I'm so I'm so in the fiction. I'm in I the know. world, right? right. Uh, but you're you're having them dance along to like licensed pop music, and there are a lot of songs here, and yeah. there are one like and they're they're songs that you recognize. So yeah, kind of kind of surprised. Like all the songs, you know, they they had some kind of thing where you know whatever rights they got to the movie. Yeah, you know, Majesco would also get, or Behavior Interactive uh, <laughs> the developer would also get. Um, oh, nothing sinister going on there, I assure you. 
<laughs> I, I'm going to say uh, a rare thing uh, in this. I don't hate this as an idea. <laughs> like drawing <laughs> what, a little. What part of this? Do I not hate the the mechanics of it? Oh, like okay. the symbol pops up, then the timeline as opposed to rep- I feel like it's been a long time since anything new has been done with a Guitar Hero timeline. Yes, for a rhythm game, right? Mm-hmm. And like this one, the the symbol pops up, and then you have until the end of the beat to have drawn it. Yes, you know, and the symbols are chosen not just for their meaning in terms of white history, <laughs> but also <laughs> for their uh, like how they kind of match the rhythm. Of things. Yeah. So you yeah. kind of pl- draw along to the rhythm in a way that is a, like an actual unique style of interfacing with rhythm. Yeah. And thing. it like and and it like does a good thing of like uh like upping the complexity within a beat because like a lot of like the simpler ones that give you a short amount of time is just okay, a diagonal line going this way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like a slash or you know, like maybe there's a plus or whatever. Then you get like weird like M's or U's, or you know, you get the Nazi runes going on. Mm-hmm. Um and it's not very precise for what it is like judging you on because this is supposed to be a kid's game. Like I intentionally fucked it up and still got uh still still got good ratings. Yes. On on, on on some of these inputs but it is it is a neat idea um yeah. and <laughs> i don't want to say this was hard but something that tripped me up was you have to uh select so the the, the symbols are rising uh in three lanes for which of the three chipmunks are, you have yeah so you have a little quiz at the start that determines which and of the which chipmunks chip you are, you are. <laughs> yeah it's a little yeah. myspace quiz that goes on uh but and, and and there's this front and center but like you you will occasionally have to like tap the symbol both beneath each one of them in order to switch over and do symbols on that so like that was an, an added level of complexity this yes. is not this is not terrible if this no if it wasn't like wrapped around and themed around this extremely mid ch- children's property, let's really, say. I, I go, it go as far as say pretty unpleasant. Yeah, uh, yeah. I watched the trailer for it and I had a rough time <laughs> with it. Uh, and it, but it's it's so here's here's a, here's me being stupid. I knew the concept of the Elvin and the Chipmunks cartoon for me as a kid. Yes, I, I've never seen any of these films. Neither have I. No, of course I haven't. Uh, I didn't think they would be jukebox musicals. Mm-hmm. But the the chipmunks sing. That's always been their thing. Is that they have very unpleasant voices and they sing covers. Yeah. So the movie is a jukebox musical about doing that. Yes. They're going to like a music festival mm-hmm. to be recognized for singing. Mm-hmm. Again, you know, we we just recorded the same day. We recorded the adaptation decay on decay on Rubik the Music Amazing Cube. Uh-huh. This is all about masquerade violations. <laughs> like it is crazy the amount of just chipmunks that sing in front of people in this. It's, I mean, it's the whole, it's, it's the whole thing. So you were joking about yeah. like, okay, does Dave own them? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. I mean, or, or is it, are they as kids? Like it's a, it's a stage dad thing. Dave is trying to exploit these little creatures that happen to sing. He's only putting yeah. up with them because he can be their manager. Yes. Is the idea. He, it's purely mercenary. Right. Like he wants them to breed. So that I think that's why he has the other. The chip ads. Uh, yeah. The chip ads. I think that's why, that's why they hang out. Yeah. Um, you know, but they, uh, he's just trying to make money and he's played by Jason mm-hmm. Lee. Right. Uh, in this, you know, and, you know, played capably as somebody who cares not for these little monsters, mm-hmm. you know, and that, that's fine. Uh, yeah. it's just, it's interesting that he found them mm-hmm. and then decided like, these are mine. Yes. Uh, time to make money the- off of them and not as these are freaks. You know, isn't it weird that they can sing and mm-hmm. do really unpleasant harmonies that are nonetheless like technically correct? <laughs> it's <laughs> that they can sing well. Yeah. Like they, 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 these are meant to be bops. Yes. You know? Uh, yeah. So it's. <laughs> Then you get into like this weird like it's so it's it's there's a meta layer to this too because obviously these chipmunks aren't real but they are uh, you know performers performing these songs that uh, uh you know in real life it is just like a, it's a recording gimmick it was a novelty record yeah. that just happened to break out and be popular enough because people didn't understand the idea of speeding up a speeding up a recording to make it sound you know, to, yeah. make, to make it sound higher, right? It's like seeing the train come at you. Like, they just never s- heard anything like this. Yes. So, like, Theodore pops up and goes, oh, I want a hula hoop. <laughs> and the people are like, oh, my fucking God, I need to buy that record. Yeah. Right? The same way people do now with Taylor Swift earthquakes and shit. <laughs> it's really bizarre. 
I don't know. It's it's a really strange mythology to me. Yeah. The fact that these are very successful movies is very strange to me. A yeah. uh, great little bit of uh, just a snapshot. Uh, came out, finished second after Sherlock Holmes, Game of Shadows. Uh-huh. Uh, the s- second Sherlock Holmes movie that nobody remembers. I'm not even um, like, I'm not even surprised that it was like a hugely popular movie because uh, these have been around, like th- these have been around forever, right? Like, yeah. and just, okay, it's, we have CGI, so let's bring them back. And, Nothing can die. It's like a yeah. Smurf movie and all that. This is, this R- is made for Tim Heidecker and, and Greg Turkington to, yes. to say they love it. You know, yeah. and just it's it's definitely a popcorn movie. Like, just come prepared to laugh, and you'll, you'll love it. You know? <laughs> it's a five, it's a five bagger with a little microphone in case you yeah. want to sing along. <laughs> sing along, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a. Uh... Uh, man no i never saw these no because i like like, what the first one came out in uh uh, i don't know like late 20 yeah 2000 2007 i was i was was, that was i was in college like yeah not not you know not we're not the age group for that i wonder if there are people if these are well liked by kids like if there are people listening who are like man the chipmunk movies are actually low-key sick and i love them for that low-key goaded yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) these are actually kicked up to the gills you know you get the other backs that cake up and it's (laughs) <laughs> uh, David Cross, who uh, I, I really like uh, learning about people who I respect and their relationship to fame things. Yes. You know? Yeah. Uh, you know, has a quote about the first one, which is like, yeah, everyone made fun of me, but that's why I like I spent all of my life like struggling. That is how I was able to buy a house. Yes. You know, it's that first one, mm-hmm. uh, which I always think is interesting, right? Like, you know, yeah. I don't begrudge anybody their work. I think it's a good idea in this case. Of this film, David Cross uh, says, uh, this is the most miserable experience he's ever had in his professional life. Uh, <laughs> no problems with the other actors or the director, but there were people on set that made it awful. Oh, geez. Uh, God, I would love to hear what exactly what that was. Yeah. I don't get the sense that he is a particularly difficult person to work with maybe there are stories about him on set oh you know? I mean, well yeah i mean there's there's a very famous story of him is uh, there now? difficult oh no yeah um yeah with uh uh I, the, the name is escaping me uh i'm not trying to be shitty that excuse me i just i'm keeping every charlene lee that's what okay. I'm of, uh has has problems with him mm. uh, i'm not aligning that because i'm trying to let anyone off the hook i'm aligning it because i don't remember them i don't want to get yeah. wrong I, I, um, so and you know what made me jump to that conclusion his close relationship with bob odenkirk yeah uh and you know the the halo that he probably has off of uh off of being with bob yeah. and i was about to say bob odenkirk would never associate with somebody terrible but then there is you know uh yeah there's jay yeah. johnson Jan- <laughs> january yeah. 6 is jay johnson <laughs> so. yeah um yeah, and yeah. then there, uh, yeah, uh, Charlene or Char, yeah, Charlene Lee. I didn't get it hmm. right, but I just spelled it. So I looked up Charlene Lee, which was another uh, Asian actress, okay. and then I was like, oh fuck, I am just like literally digging myself into a pit. Oh but jeez, it yeah. is, no, it's correct. It, it, it's so it's Charlene Yi, not Lee. Okay, but I, yes. it also it's spelled in an odd way. Right. Um, oh, Sorry. was he? Did did he do racism he did, at her? So apparently he was. So he, I mean, God, the. I, People can make up their own mind about this. That's that yes. is uh that is yes. Okay. Uh, right. the, the yeah. thing. Uh <laughs> the way he ex you know, the way he his side her side is that, you know, it was awful, very, very uncomfortable. His mm-hmm. side is that he was doing a version of his like weird redneck guy that he does on Mr. Show. Like just Oh goofing. yeah, Ronnie. But yeah. you know, do like not specifically Ronnie, but like oh, yeah. you know, his his making fun of, you know, mm-hmm. yeah. shit Americans. Right. Um yeah, you yeah. can yeah, just uh, the, the the I I had no idea about that when I said that yeah, he yeah. didn't seem. Yeah, what, what was was he was he talking shade specifically about about chipwrecked as a as an experience or was it or it was, was about was chipwrecked? It, okay, yeah. it's yes. some something happened and it got worse. Uh, okay, uh, and I have no idea how. Yeah, but yeah, the 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 chipwreck made it much worse. <laughs> um, they don't actually get that uh, chipwrecked. In no. It. You know, yeah. They, I mean, it happens eventually, but I wouldn't like. They have to get caught. Oh, I read the wiki. It didn't teach me through the game, which again is just a weird Guitar Hero like. Yeah, with yeah. a touchscreen. They're like a um, little bit of dialogue before the first song, which, which is just the only, first song, which is yeah. only "Want to Be with You" by Hootie and the Blowfish. Yes, which <laughs> the, made me think they had like they're scraping the tubi of music, uh-huh. <laughs> you know. But then the then it's like walking on the sun and all the stuff you'd expect yes. to be, you know, yeah. stuff. Uh, but yeah, then I had to read about the plot and they do eventually end up on an Island, but they're uh, fine and they meet like friends. And then Dave comes and looks for them. Cause these, they're their sweet, sweet meal ticket. 
Yeah. <laughs> Dave, Dave, Dave's not working again. Dave can't go yes. back to the rat race. <laughs> yeah. Dave, Dave is not going to live in an office ever again in no. his life. No. Yeah. God, fucking crocodile rock hit me with your best shot. Uh, yeah, no. It, Cross was also forced, uh, quote his quote, forced at legal gunpoint to spend a week uh, shooting footage on a carnival cruise, which Cross argued was pointless since he had no lines and was unrecognizable in a pelican suit. Uh, that cost cross a fifteen uh one hundred fifty thousand dollar bonus for violating his non disparagement clause. Oh, huh. yeah, yeah. So. No, he he did. I uh, like the, the, that. That was a famous thing of like of him uh, of David Cross going on like late night shows. Like he was yeah. on a promotional tour for this and did not have good things to say about it. Basically, it was just like, oh yeah, I was jobbing here, which Amazing. is is plain for yeah. everybody to see. Yeah, I, I love the idea of having a hundred and fifty thousand dollars in fuck you money. Just be like, I'm not going to lie about this. Yeah, you know, like <laughs> I I, I, I kind of dig it. Yeah, to have uh, that uh, to have that principle and use yeah. it that way. Yeah, yeah, like it, it's it's obviously privilege and like you could keep your mouth shut and mm-hmm. donate one hundred fifty thousand dollars to charity, but yes. like also. Yeah. You know, I just being like, yeah, no, it's fucking awful. Uh-huh. Like you're asking about it. I'm not going to, I don't want to lie. It was apparently yeah. bad enough that they uh, decided to go down one level on the Arrested Development uh, ladder uh, for <laughs> mm-hmm. the next one, uh, the road chip, uh, because yes. they got Tony Hale in. <laughs> yeah. They just had to, <laughs> to keep replace him. switching them out. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> like, God damn it. If we do this long enough, oh, we're, we're going gonna to land on Gene Parmesan. Ends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> we're getting balabonged on this bullshit. Oh yeah. God, I was balabanned uh, from set. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the uh, the trailer for this ends uh-huh. with uh, just the six chipmunks singing "Bad Romance" as if it's a reveal. <sighs> okay, like they find Dave, they're all hanging out on a rock, and they do a little dance number of "Bad Romance," and then it goes "bow" in theaters. Uh-huh. But there's no joke or anything. It's just that they no, sing. It's, it's just this popular. It's just it's yeah. just this popular song. The that, worst uh, version of it that you could ever possibly hear. Oh, oh yeah, no, like some yeah. kids bop. Like you would yeah. pray for kids bop if this was on a Gitmo. Oh, yeah. dude, yeah. Th- th- this this is a worse kids yeah. bop. This is for kids, not by kids. Mm. And like I think that and, does and make so there's worse. less of an excuse. Yeah, yeah. If it's kids, like okay, like this is a bunch of kids. You know, sing, yeah. sing, singing this song or whatever. Like somebody did, like you know, coerce them into doing this. And by coerce, I mean pay pay them a day rate for a studio to be to be part of this chorus or whatever. Uh, this is cynically made by adults to yes. be, to be played yeah. in a car and drive parents insane as kids laugh. Yes, yeah. uh, the people who made this went on to make Dead by Daylight. That's weird. That is weird. Yeah, yeah. no, they they they've uh, done like specifically like packs of it, mm-hmm. like the, the, uh, yeah, content packs. There's, yeah, uh, it is. Uh, they, they've got all. It's be, be, again behavior interactive. Yes, uh, Bugs Bunny and Taz time busters. <laughs> so they're doing time crimes and shit. Yeah, uh, this is an incredible rogues gallery of like licensed bullshit. Yeah, we can do. I never realized that one developer would have this much stuff and have this varied of a trick, you know, because like a, a sp- individual like like a, a Mick G or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, you know, think we could do that and do all his games. But they are all kind of the same yeah. thing. But we find Revenge of the Wounded Dragons on PS3 or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. That's a huh. you know, so, so, the so Jersey Devil uh, PlayStation game, which I think so we've done. What? The Jersey uh, Devil pl- Jersey oh Devil? yeah, yeah, we 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 have done that. Yeah, sorry. Oh. Uh, so what appears to be happening is this is a um, it's a support studio that occasionally gets their own uh, that occasionally gets their own products, mm. or their, mm-hmm. their their own projects. So like, um, the, uh, did they develop? Oh no, it was as Artificial Mind of Movement was an older uh, an older name of the studio, but like fallout 4 is listed as one of their credits they didn't yes. do fallout 4 no like that that's that's that that's not them yeah um, i, I know, you know that <laughs> <laughs> they were not on shadow of mordor i think that they're just uh it's a support studio right it's secondary yeah. Yeah. yeah they help out so they're just they have their their fingers in many pies yes you know some of which are rango the video game uh-huh. Which that's something I'd like to learn about too. Keep an eye out for that. That's an educational epic <laughs> suffering coming up. <laughs> to learn what a Rango is. Yeah, I'm not sure what happens to him. I I know he's a lizard, but I don't know anything uh-huh. else other than that. Man, yeah. Oh, I, here's a here's a thing I, I I meant to tell you about. 
Uh, I'm all over the place here. That's I, fine. I've yeah. been drinking a lot of coffee. I haven't had lunch. It's a, a big empty stomach. It, it, you've had a long day. It's a, it's it's been a, a long whole day. thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I had to, for dentistry stuff. I, I'm big recording uh, this day. Uh, <clears throat> me and Liv uh, on Saturday went to go pick up pocket medicine for okay. him to the vet. He needs calm down medicine. Mm-hmm. Um, we saw an estate sale and we just happened to be like, we parked right next to it uh, to go to the, this restaurant where you're going to on the way. Yeah. yeah. So, so we decided to pop in, right? Uh, mm-hmm. The main thing that this estate sale had was a bigger than marquee size, so like eight to nine foot tall proportional movie poster for the Catherine Zeta Jones film Entrapment. Oh, man. And it had sold marked on it. Somebody had bought this. Okay. So we're like, huh, that's interesting. We walked through the rest of the estate sale. How many Entrapment posters do you think we found? <sighs> okay, are doing prices right rules? Um, no, no, no. Let's just, just try to guess. Just try to guess. Yeah. I'm going to say seven. Six. Okay. But there's a follow-up question. You're very close. Uh, how many different languages do you think? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Six, six posters. Yep. Um, uh, man, I almost want to say eight. Like a couple of them, maybe were by word. Question. It, yeah. <laughs> sorry, I, I, I'm trying to outsmart you here. Uh, yeah, I yeah. Say, I, 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 I'm saying a thing that happened. I'm not trying. Yeah, to, I'm not I, coming up with an ARG. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're trying to relate to me as a human, and I'm yeah. trying to beat you. <laughs> yeah, okay, Will. Um, <laughs> um, uh, so uh, six posters. I'm going to say five languages. Uh, only three. Okay. But that means that there were three identical ones. Huh. Uh, and I was like, that's real fucking weird. And it had that, like, as you go through, you know, in uh, Liv expressed some interest in the Venture Brothers. So we've been we've been watching it. Yes. Uh, in the Invisible Hand of Fate, Billy uh, is put by OSI to take the class at Phantom Limbs thing. Yes. Uh, of course. And he looks around. He notices uh, everyone is deformed. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, the, the, the Phantom Limb is attracting people yes. who fit the mold in that show mm-hmm. it was like that but with entrapment posters <laughs> as we walked further in we we're just looking back and forth and noticing just an absolutely unusual concentration of entrapment posters uh-huh uh there was a guy there who we think was working it and we're like hey what's up with all these entrapment posters <laughs> Uh, and he and has to tell you otherwise <laughs> it's otherwise it's something something i can't remember um but he says the guy who had died you know because the seat sales are great but they're also he's real sad right uh, yeah, fascinating yeah. it's like the most fascinating <clears throat> garage sale type oh yes, um, yeah the uh but had, was the principal photography guy for entrapment oh. and just had like must have had like an entrapment room of framed entrapment posters huh. i didn't mention they were all framed they're all nicely framed Okay. Uh, fine art framed entrapment posters of various sizes and languages. And like, uh, I, you know, put an, a gun to your head. What's entrapment about? Uh, it's about like uh, like burglary, right? Like there's uh, the, fam- the famous scene with Catherine Zeta-Jones, like uh, dancing through the lasers and stuff. Uh, it think, is about burglary. Sh- uh, yeah. Like, sh- like Sean Connery, like coerces her into, uh, into, in, into doing, doing crime kind of things. Or maybe it's the other way around. It, uh, I think maybe they're trying to steal a diamond. They're trying to steal art. You're, you're very close though, which means this movie is not quite as anonymous as I thought it was. Okay. Like I felt like Entrapment is like a Seinfeld movie style thing like this could yes, be about anything yeah. the poster is just Catherine zeta jones standing next to a gigantic version of sean connery's head oh it's a big ghost. yeah it's it's one of the ghost head uh, uh yes. posters that were common in the era yeah yeah uh and then i watched the trailer for it because i was like what the fuck is entrapment uh-huh. and uh and figured out it's about art thieves yeah um, it's um i mean like that was a pretty big movie like it was it is, yeah. you know, it's 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 old Sean Connery, but still has like a ton of juice around that time. Like what? That was like 1998. I think it. I think that came out. That's right around the time that The Rock came out. Mm-hmm. You know, one of the just the hugest movies. So like Sean Connery had the juice at around this point. He hadn't squandered it on the Avengers just yet. Yes. Um, uh, and um, yeah, and Catherine Zeta Jones was like, you know, in it you know, it girl, it performer for a, for a while. Like she was like one of the definitional, like sexy ladies oh, yeah. uh, in, in movies. So in, like it had a high profile in yeah. the office when they find Michael Scott's screen, Catherine Zeta scar. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, yeah. The character's name, Catherine Zeta Jones. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. And then becomes Catherine Zeta. 
<laughs> See, uh, uh, Scar. I got yeah. to, I got to make the joke about the giant poster being uh, Catherine Gamma uh, Jones <laughs> <laughs> smash, <laughs> like, which I was kind of happy with. Um, but yeah, it was a real bizarre uh, scenario for entrapment uh, fans and not knowers alike. That 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 belong like all these posters belonging to the director of photography on this movie, like that is the most sensical and therefore most boring explanation. For I know this. it. It just it it had a creeping surrealism that ended up being deflated. You know, <laughs> yeah. sadly. Just when you start noticing, just when you start putting yeah. it together, yeah. yeah. I just, uh, uh, man, I would want to bottle that moment with like the second I, you realize, because the one gigantic poster is one thing, you yes. know. Like I've got a gigantic like, uh, possession poster in my yeah. uh, in my living room, well, right? Not this big. Like this, this <laughs> yeah, was, true. they don't make posters this big as far no, as I know. No. Like that yeah. was the, and it was framed and sold. Like there was right. a lot going on even just from the beginning, and then it uh-huh. had more and more. You know, uh, this weekend has been a weird day for shit like that because, or we weekend because we also yesterday, me and Liv and Riff went to thrift con, which, uh, sounded like it was gonna be really cool, but it was, it sucked. It was 99% clothes. Uh, you know, it was a real bummer and it wasn't thrift. It was like vintage, you know, people, you'd look at a shirt that was kind of cool and then somebody would tell you who made it and what edition it was and what defects Uh, it has and why it's $75. Yeah. Yeah. They had uh, going to do some more Price of Rice stuff. They had a TV. Sh- they had a shirt of Jim Carrey's The Mask. Okay. I wait, want wait. you to. Okay, a shirt of Jim Carrey's The Mask, like a like a promotional shirt. Uh, as far as on the front of it, it just had Jim Carrey as the mask, standing uh, it... there in one of his the mask poses. Okay, so it's him in the yellow suit, probably doing like yep. a wacky pose, like leaning on something or whatever. Yep. On a white okay. T-shirt. I want you to guess how much they were charging. On a white t-shirt for Jim Carrey's The Mask. Um, I'm going to say $45. $1,000. What in the fuck? Right? (laughs) No. I wanted to, me and Riff were talking about it. I wanted to spill something on it so Uh I could get sued to pay for it Uh and have to have that person provide receipts. (laughs) Like, I was like, I need to expose this person. (laughs) Yeah. For what they're doing, one thousand dollars. Wow, you only got to sell one. <laughs> you made your booth fees. We made table fees already. I, I like this place fucking sucked. Yeah, uh, and that was the one of the suckiest parts about it. One thousand dollars for a Jim Carrey is the mask. A, a shirt I would not wear and could not wear because you would lose. Like if you got barbecue sauce on your one thousand dollar mask shirt, that's a pretty good flex. Like That's what pre- happens to you? Like that, that, uh, that everything everywhere at once. Like that uh-huh. is the combination to go into a different reality. <laughs> like, you know, like, Oh, like you have to, uh, you know, fall in love with this person. Uh-huh. Stick this thing up your ass. Uh, doing that would shunt you into a hidden and darker reality. Yeah. Yeah. You would, you, you, know? you would be sent into a pocket dimension. Yeah. Nothing has ever happened like that. The lady of pain would maze you <laughs> <laughs> like, immediately. <laughs> like, Yeah. Huh. I mean, so th- th- does that have an explanation? Did you ask this person, like, what gives you the fucking right? I wanted to, but I didn't want to start, like, a fight. <laughs> uh, the other thing is that this place was so fucking crowded, and we were the oldest people there. Uh, oh, it was kids these okay. days are buying old shitty shirts that I wouldn't be caught dead wearing for okay. fashion purposes. Uh, they were all there. They were, like, fucking pigs and shit. It was popular, and then me, Liv, and Riff hated it. Huh. Uh, and and left, but I didn't want. They, I was just like outnumbered in yeah. an existential way. Did you, I mean? Um, so I mean, like what 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 you what you wandered into was an Instagram nest. Yes, that, that like, literally, like the, the, it was an influencer. Yeah, you know, hive. yeah. That 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 that's precisely what that was. Yeah, they were looking for wardrobe. Yeah. Yes, it it, it was it was literally that. Like that, we went by, walked by some like twenty year olds who were like, uh, "God, this place is making me feel old." And what? that was, you know, that was rough. And then we also, uh, I saw a sign that was showing prices and it was like bucket hats, $20 dice necklaces, 15. And I was like, fuck man. <laughs> like this all sucks so bad. Dice I, necklaces. I, I, I try not to be like, you know, old man yells at cloud, but uh-huh. God, it fucking sucked. <laughs> like, it, just, it just, you just want, you wander it into some, and you wander out of your lane. Like yeah, it, 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 it's that it, it's a more mild version of that, but like that was not a space for you. Not that, even uh, that. I, I mean, and that is that is bad on them because when I hear thrift con, like I'm thinking big big swap meet kind of thing. Yeah, 
Yeah. I, I, I realized one of the things is in terms of a marker of getting old, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I have moved from thrift to antique. Yeah. Yeah. Like I'm now an antique guy. Mm-hmm. That's fucked up. I didn't think that'd be true, but it is. Yeah. You know, yeah. like thrift is about uh, the Gronk Kings getting drips yeah. and antiques are for me finding, you know, uh, old out of print Bakugans and shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know? No, and it's like, and I, I, I don't know. I, I yeah, that 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 is a thing. But like, if that makes you old, I'm right there with you. Yeah, but I might be a special case, so I don't okay. know. I, I know no. just 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 in terms of having always <laughs> oh. been old. Like, I you know, t- yeah. t- I remember ten years ago going to uh, like go going to big antique malls and looking around and saying, "Hey, this stuff rules." Well, you know, we're also like it will surprise no one uh, that you and I are not particularly fashion. Mavens, Carrie. I've worn the same thing yeah. every day for the past uh, since 2010 for the past 13 years. So, yeah, we we yeah. don't know what fashion is. So any when we're saying kids should not be wearing thousand dollar mask shirts as their funky grunk drip, uh, it's nonsense. Not because it's obviously nonsense. It's nonsense <clears throat> because we are not trusted. Sources no, no, that th- that 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 that's that seems wacky to me. Yes, the, the the same way when I say like, oh, a PlayStation Five is five hundred dollars. My 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 parents would be like, whoa, do you know how much five hundred dollars is? And I was yes. like, yeah, I just spent I just spent that to get this yeah, I thing do. that I wanted. <laughs> I, I exchanged yeah. it. It seemed like a fair rate to me. Yeah, I, I bought a thing. I'll probably get five hundred dollars yeah. worth of enjoyment out of this. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. No, <sighs> that's a well, that's a shame that didn't pan out. Yeah, we we went we ended up landing uh, we had lunch and then landing in a street festival which okay. was not very good but it was in a neighborhood uh that has a good antique store mm, which we went okay. into and found fun stuff. Yeah. You know, so it like became good and that's why I was like, "Oh, I'm antique now. I'm not thrift." Yes. Yeah. And that's yeah. that's a okay. It just has to be okay. There's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Can't change what you like. Can't I mean, change you what can... I like. Can't yeah. change who I am, you know. Yeah. If 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 I became a lich Mm-hmm. You know, would I continue if I live forever? Would I continue to to move through other phases? Like, what comes? What's past antiques? I don't know. Yeah, I think there's a lot of fiction that's ta- that ta- that talks about that specifically as regards Dracula's. Yeah, they have to. Yeah. They they start getting really scared. That's why they're scared of like things like crosses and stuff because they're so old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh god, I remember yeah. when this was invented. It was like that weird ass that everybody used to draw it, on their chapter also, keepers. It, the the uh, <laughs> I also I'm gonna say uh, there are even gradations of the antiques. So me like oh, yeah, looking yeah. for weird books and like old action figures I liked magazines is <sighs> there's the ultimate evolution, like the blastoise of this type is old farm equipment that see, that's the thing. What, so like the, the definition in terms of what I had to learn when I found out about antique malls mm-hmm. and learned like, Hey, the, the, you know, that this rules in my head, like, uh, uh, antiques are, it's, it's like all old, like farmhouse furniture and farm tools kind of stuff. Like you yeah. go to a, you know, you go to a place, you know, your, your, your parents drag you to it and you see an awful lot of like, uh, like, like pie vaults, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, you know, and I didn't realize that, like, oh, that can also be like a bunch of old packaging, like old advertising shit, you know, um, you know, which I, which I really enjoy. But yes, the 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 Blastoise form is the uh, the 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 farm stuff, old Pepsi which I'm cans. Not, I'm not there for that yet. Yeah, yeah. that that's too much for me. Like, uh, I'm I'm there for old Pepsi cans. I'm not there for the for the farm implements. I'm not even to Pepsi cans yet. Uh huh. So you'll get to be a Blastoise sooner than me. But yeah. I'm holding out before I evolve so I can learn secret moves and only Squirtle learns. God. I, um, I really should have taken advantage of this. There was a, a antique mall down in Cincinnati where one of the stalls was all of this old, like, dental equipment. Mm-hmm. It was old dental yeah. equipment, and there was, like, uh, lots of old – I mean, I'm talking, like, me, like mid-19th – mid-1900s mid uh, kind of, like, just packages of, like, the toothpaste and shit, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and, like, weird little models and, you know, see those, like, man, that's – what a what a fucking bad day! Just to, just just show yeah. up and like uh, I'll take it all, please. Give me yeah, the two I'd, stuff. I'd like to create a weird room, please. Yeah, <laughs> like, <laughs> I'd like to, I would like to ready buy the most unpleasant room anybody yeah. has ever Can been I in. Can scare guests uh, <laughs> all in one swoop? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, yeah that that stuff. I also end up having those kind of regrets, and there's yeah. so many things I would get if it just like I had display for it. Mm-hmm. That shit like that. Yeah, like I don't know, man. I I would like a, this uh this bizarre barber's chair. 
mm-hmm. that like the safety is off, so it'll go unlimited high. <laughs> 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 like, it's been like things like that. That I just have no space for, but I. Have a... <laughs> this Inspector Gadget ass chair. <laughs> the, um, this discredited barber's chair that, like, you know, has killed so many dead trauma. Like, I don't know. I might be down for that. Anywho. Oh, God. Anyhow. Uh, yeah, I gotta eat lunch. Uh, you know, uh, you might find at, a, at an antique store. Uh, Chipwrecked. And Alvin and the Chipmunks, right? Well, at this point, yeah, you'd probably find yeah. a Alvin or a, a Chipwrecked DVD, but yeah. But and at ThriftCon, you could find an Alvin and the Chipmunk T-shirt for three hundred dollars. Mm, one kidney. Uh, yep. Yeah, one. Just uh, 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 if you like the show, head to patreoncom slash mm-hmm. and and uh, hook us up. We appreciate it. You'll get a bunch of stuff, especially at the five dollar level. Um, and then uh, go leave us ratings, reviews on Apple Podcasts or Podcast Addict. Please do. Uh, and come back next week. We we, we don't uh, we don't say that enough. Uh, we would like to thank our producer Gwen, uh, who does mm-hmm. great work uh, putting these out. We really appreciate her uh, her work. You know, uh, to, to put, putting these shows together. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, uh, and uh, until next time, this has been Abject Suffering, where we subject ourselves to another man's algorithm. <laughs>